Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna learn the bouillon stitch. This has been my living nightmare for 33 years and last night I actually figured out how to do it for the very first time. If there's ever a nemesis or a villain of my life, it is this stitch. It is the bouillon stitch. I'm gonna demonstrate it, how easy it is to do it because watch what I'm gonna do. Da, da, da. It is not using a crochet hook. It's using a latch hook and this is the secret to the stitch as far as I'm concerned but you don't need that but you know what if you don't want to have 33 years of fabulosity <laughs> um, you may want to switch to this and this is just something you can pick up at the craft store. So let me demonstrate it first and then I'll talk to you about the ins and outs of what I did differently because I have seen this demonstrated in craft shows before. So let's just give you a demonstration. So the bouillon stitch can be wrapped many times depending on how many times you wanna do it and it is all about the motion of the ocean on the way things that are gonna work and the way that I'm moving right now I was playing with this last night and I have my rhythm all down pat. So it's actually pretty easy once you understand the rhythm and you give yourself a chance on how to do it seamlessly. But you know when I was doing it and learning I wasn't this smooth. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay so we know it can be done. So, okay so let me show you 33 years of fabulosity. So if you use a regular crochet hook which they demonstrate in books let's just do this like with a regular hook. So we wrap th uh, four times and then we go into the stitch and then we pull through. So the goal is is to get this yarn here through this and the problem is see how it's wrapped tightly around that hook? <laughs> yeah. Okay so um, you gotta keep manipulating and it's possible but look how slow it takes. And if you're not consistent with the wrap you get loose wraps. Okay so it looks, it looks pretty close but you can see the top one is not wrapped right. So it's all about the tension with this one here. Sometimes I've seen the bouillon stitch being wrapped 10 times. I just can't imagine that stress. <laughs> okay so this is not working for me. This takes too long and look at that last wrap. Oh my lord. Okay there's some things where it's good to be loose. I don't think it's this thing. Okay so one more time just to show you my pain and so but for 33 years I have been experiencing a living nightmare. See and then I drop things. <gasps> okay so let's just take a little break so I can breathe and let's just pull this out and let me explain to you what I'm doing with my latch hook which will give you better consistency and if you like tight today's your lucky day. Okay so we're gonna go in and we're gonna replace our hook with the latch hook when we're doing this stitch. So when I did the corner the first one I used the regular crochet hook but when I'm doing the bouillon stitch I switched out to this hook. So the goal is is to watch this little flippy thing right here. So it probably has a technical word. It's called flippy thing for today. So what I want to do is that I wanna wrap the hook here and you can do many wraps as you want to. The more you do the fatter the stitch. So just uh, be conscious of that because it may not, you may, it may be too fat for your project. Okay so let's just wrap. So the trick is is that I put this into my hand like I'm regularly crocheting and I just feed on there and when I'm rotating it around here I'm not tying down a boat to a dock my friends. I'm wrapping it so that it can slide like butter mm -hmm, and I'm being consistent about it but I've also wrapped it beyond the flippy thing. So when I go into the stitch Okay I'm gonna go in. The flippy thing falls down but I don't care because when you push it in the flippy thing goes back up. I know magic. And what you wanna do is you wanna push it so far in that the flippy thing gets beyond the hole and pops out. Ooh. And all I wanna do is just shift my hand down across the hook so that the flippy thing when I go to pull it is going to trap it inside that. Oh my god isn't that fabulous? And then I'm gonna pull through. So when I pull through I still have to pull it through all of this jazz over here. So in order to do that I have to push and I have to get everything beyond the flippy thing. So watch this. So I keep pushing until the flippy thing is free and then I just shift my hand and 
I pull. And the flippy thing closes and what I'm gonna use is my fingernail to pull, to hold it and to pull through. So are you noticing something? When the th reason why I have failed for uh, many years is that in crochet we wrap and then we go underneath so we did this. Okay, and then we go in and this little flippy thing catches on to things that I start creating words that are not in Webster's Dictionary. So my problem with crochet this for all these years is that I was operating this like I was crocheting. But the fact is is that it's, see, oh my god it's stuck. So I was operating it like a crochet hook. The other thing I was doing is that I was wrapping like it's a crochet hook. This here causes a living nightmare for this thing because it's tight. It is really stiff. So I can do it. Okay, so I was wrapping like that and then I was going underneath and that flippy thing was catching onto everything possible and then sometimes it would close and then Okay, so I'm making it look easy right now. But the problem is is that when you turn it upside down like you would with a regular crochet hook, look at that flippy thing. It's going beyond those things. Therefore I would miss stuff and it would snag. Not a good day. So here's, here's my trick. It's not a trick. Here's my method. So last night I was sitting here and I was failing like you wouldn't believe. I'm like after 33 years there's gotta be a way that people do this stitch. So the trick is is that you wrap the hook just with the pinched finger but it's not pinched to the point where it's like tying down a boat. It's just taut. And what I want to do is just push it and leave the hook with the hook facing up. So then when I push it in the flippy thing catches on and opens and then I just shift my hand and pull back and it closes down on that and then I pull forward, I push forward beyond the flippy thing and then I push and then I pull. I don't know what direction I'm going in right now. <laughs> so I can get my, my stuff through there. So I can wrap until my heart's content and I can go in and the flippy thing and I can pull and it closes and I can push beyond the flippy thing and I can pull and it closes and then I can just use my fingernail. So this is a great way to do the bouillon stitch um, and it is tight. So this is very dense. It's like my, like me really dense. <laughs> but it is really uh, quite dense. I'm not even sure it's gonna work with my project that I'm working on right now because it is so dense. But um, if you're looking to do carpets and stuff, uh -huh, might be a good way to do it. So if you're looking to do the bouillon, bouillon stitch, now I will tell you is that I did this whole blanket um, around and it wasn't until about almost like the second um, side at the end of the second side that I became comfortable with this motion. So it takes a bit of practice. So if you're gonna do like 10 of these and you're gonna say this is impossible, do more than 10. Do like 100. Okay, so it's it requires any, it's like crochet. You, you know you learned it, it's uncomfortable at first and then becomes second nature to you. So this is how you do the bouillon stitch. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, it's really not that hard after 33 years but I think it's all about this big fat tool. This is by Boy just in case you leave a comment. What is that? It's by Boy and uh, it's sold on its own and it's pretty inexpensive and it's got a nice thick handle so that you can hold on to it. And it just kind of rests in my, my hand when I go to do it. And once you get the motion of the ocean you are gonna push and you're gonna pull and you're going to have success stories. Now if it does close like that just it's not impossible to reopen just with a slide and the flick of the hand and etc. And that's all there is to it. That's the Boolean stitch. Have a great day and we hopefully this was a great tip for you today. Bye bye.